By kissing Daniel, I'd cross that flimsy bridge between platonic and passionate. What should I do? Lucy, I've been here for nearly an hour, and you've managed to talk about everything from the weather to what you had for breakfast. Sit. We need to talk. I've been thinking about what happened. That, yeah. Um, I think we're just going to have to forget about it. I can't. Oh, look, Daniel, up until last week, everything between us was totally straightforward. And I mean, after I realised that I really fancy you. And I fancy you, so what's the problem? You're not just some bloke I picked up at a party. You mean so much more to me than that. So why can't Look, we... we've known each other too long. It, I mean, it'd be weird. It'd be like shagging a brother. Thanks a lot. Just really scared of losing what we've got. We can't go back. Not after a snog like that. But you're going to have to go. They're going to be back soon. If that's what you really want. You never believe our luck. It was only a life class. Was in nude. As in the day was born. Aren't you supposed to um, sketch the models, not bring them home? I told you. These sensitive, sultry arty types are just gagging for it. Hi, I'm Toby. Bye, I'm Lucy. Yeah, I'll see you. Hi, Toby. Well, you certainly captured something of my essential being. You know, Rolf Harris makes it look so easy, doesn't he? I prefer film as a medium myself. I only model to scrape together enough for my next movie project. Oh, what sort of films do you make? Low-budget art house stuff, usually. You know, I'm, I'm always on the lookout for new talents. Have you ever seen Performance? No. It's my favourite movie. I must have watched it over a hundred times, but it still just blows me away. It's that fusion of decadence and decay. A totally trippy experience that blurs the lines between reality and illusion. Maybe you girls should check it out. Then you could come over to my place, we could discuss it. Mm, I'd love to. Yes, please. Maybe we should give Adrian a ring. Who's Adrian, your boyfriend? No, he's just some nerdy bloke from the video shop. Nothing I can do. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. I just don't have it, OK? Who was that? Just a mate. I'd like to talk to your mates, darling. Look, just leave it, all right? All right, I'll leave it. I'm sorry. Yeah, this mate of mine, he's... He's a good bloke, really, but he's... Um, he's got a bit of a, of a drug problem, and he's just been offered a place in a, in a rehab clinic, and apparently there's... It's the best there is. Well, that's good, isn't it? No, it's a private clinic and the treatment costs, what, £800? And they, you know, if they don't get the money straight away, then they're going to give the place to somebody else. Isn't there someone else you can borrow the money from? No, nobody else wants to know. And the frustrating thing is, he only needs the cash for a, for a few days because he's owed, what, a grand in backdated housing benefit and he's going to get his cheque next week. I don't know what to do. Don't worry about it, babe. Yeah, well, that's easy for you to say, isn't it? No, I mean, I don't know. 
I might be able to sort something out. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Adrian, I didn't know you did home deliveries. It's my own copy. Um, Karen said she needed to see it urgently. Oh, thanks, Adrian. You're a gem. Anything for my favourite customers. So what is the big deal about this video? That's what we're hoping to find out. This is my passport back to Torby's flyer. Mm, and mine. It's not a bad movie, if you're into Mick Jagger. Oh, geriatric rockers aren't really my scene. So, uh, what is your type? Not sad blocks who work in video shops. Only I've got a couple of tickets for a new art house cinema that's opening. Thursday. Save your breath, Adrian. Lucy's given up on men. <sighs> it's a special preview. Invite only. What I needed was a distraction from agonising over Daniel. Before I knew what I was saying, I'd sealed my doom. What do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, all right then. Thanks very much. Well, Mother thinks that Mozart's a bit vulgar, but I rather like the idea of us trotting down the aisle something a bit punchy. Yeah? I'm not going to let her win. What do you think, Hetty? Hetty, music for the service. Oh, yes, well, whatever you like. Oh, you're not still worried about it, are you? Everybody gets pre-wedding nerves. I know. So oh, shit scared. I was going to say suffocated. Come on, you need cheering up. Hey, let's get a cappuccino. There you go. Eight hundred quid. I can't make it. Take it. Go on, I'm gonna be late for work. Hey, thanks. This means a hell of a lot to me. It's alright. Just make sure I get it back when your mate gets his check. Oh, I'm wishing luck. Problem. Morning, Mr. Simmons. Morning, Megan. Well, now you know my secret. I'm a drug dealer on the side. <laughs> You're not, are you? If I was, do you think I'd be working at New Dawn? Contrary to the way you treat some of us in the office, we're not scumbags, you know. I'll have to have words with Hetty if she doesn't get her act together. Poor thing. She's having a tough time with this wedding. Mm. Rydia, mm -hmm. do you think I treat the staff here badly? I mean, am I a total git? No. Well, sometimes you can be a bit... stuffy. But it's no big deal. Oh, you look beautiful, sweetheart. Oh, thank you so much, Linda. Six cases of champagne. That day trip to Frogland wasn't wasted then. Don't be long. Right, well, uh, let's give her the taste test, as they say. Oh, she looks absolutely lovely. Yeah. I can't wait to see her. I, I, know, I know I have to. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, we're going to have to ask Charlie Ward. Who's that? A new senior partner at my firm. Oh, right. Oh, not another lawyer. <laughs> well, I hope he doesn't expect to sit at the top table. <laughs> Wait, how's your speech going, Lawrence? Oh, hardly giving that thought. Oh, who was that I heard about her singing the bar? Ah, <laughs> caught you out. Uh, I've waited long enough for this. I don't want any cock-ups on the bed. I think that's going to be my job. <laughs> Tim was asking me for ideas for his speech. He said that I know any incidents from Hetty's misspent youth. <laughs> I couldn't think of any. Well, there was that tennis club dance. <laughs> yes. yes. Darling, you don't mind if Tim uses that for his speech, do you? <laughs> yeah. yeah, have a drink. Oh, nah, let's toast. Uh, well, the, the happy couple. Oh. You'll hear a lot of that over the next few weeks. <laughs> Come on, Hetz, you're missing the fizz. <laughs> Doug, Richard shouldn't see you in the dress before the day. I can't do this. I just can't do it. It's one big mess. Sorry, Richard. I just can't marry you. I'm sorry if you think I've hurt you. I'm sorry if you think I lie. I have a word with her. Try and sort things out. I'm 
breaking the chain. Hey, hey, hey. It's keeping us high. Richard, what the hell is going on? Please let me go. Not until you explain. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. Etty. No. Got to let love have its way. Got to stand up and say, I am a woman. Because a woman needs love every day. Dad was doing something even more surprising. He asked our GP to send him to hospital. To dry out. I am so proud of you. <laughs> I am. It took such guts to come here and get help. Well, we'll have some great laughs again, Lucy. As soon as I'm better. <laughs> How are you feeling, Jamesy? Fantastic. I'll never touch another drop as long as I live. I've heard you say that before. Oh, yeah, well, I didn't mean it then. I'm a different man now. And, um, there's a gym and everything here, you know? I'm good to be working out. <laughs> <laughs> now that I would pay to see. No, but look, no, 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 no. I, 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 was, I was very fit when I was a young man, wasn't I, Connie? Oh, sure. You're always first in the race to the bar. Come home, Connie. Please. Jamesy. I'm fine where I am. Little fart, with the poxy dry cleaning shop. I think I'd better go. Take care of yourself, Jason. I'm taking the cure, Connie. Isn't that what you wanted? Mum! He's trying his best. He's doing this for you. He needs to do it for himself. I got to be true to my feelings. I got to make peace with my soul. I got to stand up and say, I am a woman. A woman needs to know Are you all right? What's going on? It's over. I'm free. You gotta stand up and say, I am a woman. So a woman needs no one to It's Gus Cowper I'm after. He owes me money. Yeah, well, have you tried that oven up? Oh. And he isn't there either. Look, if you see him, tell him to call Megan urgently, all right? Ta. It's all right, Megan. Occasional personal calls are fine. <sighs> Excellent work, Meridian. Thank you very much. I'm so sorry, I'm Don't nervous. worry. Travelling in London is a nightmare. I know. Lovely top. I was sorry to hear about you and Richard. If there's anything I can do, time off, for instance. No, no, I'm fine. Good, good, good. Who are you and what have you done with the real Ivor Simmons? Mum was determined that I get to like her dry cleaner. So instead of going to the hospital to see Dad, it was dinner with Ken and Barbie. Would you like another wee bit of Black Forest ghetto? No, thanks. I'm stuffed. Your mother certainly knows the way to a man's heart. What is that smell? Smell? Oh, that'll be the fumes from the dry cleaning fluid we use downstairs. You get used to it. So, how's work going then, Lucy? Fine. Now, how's that, that boyfriend of yours, David? Daniel. D 